Hi, hello, and a very good day to all our viewers. Uh, I am Malav Thakkar, and I'd like to welcome all of you all to our exclusive series of webinar. Today, I'm going to actually drive you through the mobile application of HDFC Securities. We call it the one-stop solution for all our investments, for all your investments in trading. Let's venture through together and understand why is it the one-stop solution for HDFC Securities. So, so to start with uh, as to why and you know what are the USPs of our mobile application, I'll just give you a quick view of the same. So the USPs of our mobile application, our one-stop mobile applications are A, you can actually view your portfolio on your investments in less than one click. You can actually have a look, a constant look into all our research and trading based calls that our uh, well equipped research team gives. You can apply to an IPO in three clicks. You can personalize your notifications. What do I mean by personalized notifications is as for your investments that you make in our portfolio. We actually uh, filter down the news related to the stocks that you invest in and we actually give you news based on the stocks that you are actually holding. The next is a pre login watch list, which can be curated and can be viewed by you by selecting a few stocks that you want to continuously track. The best part, as I mentioned, it's a pre login uh, watch list, so you don't have to actually waste time to log in and see the stocks that you want to and you wish to track. The last point is a seamless experience to log in with our uh, very own feature, which is called the M pin. I will explain you further the details of the M pin. So to start with, how can you actually download our mobile application? It's very simple. You can actually visit the app store that you have. Let it be a Google Play Store or an iTunes Store. You can just visit there, look for HDFC Securities and click on download and get our application on your phone. Also, the other alternative to do the same is you see a number on your screen. You can note down the same. You can actually give a missed call on that number. We'll actually assist you with a link. You can click on that and download our mobile application. It's that simple. So to start with, I'll explain you two sections of the application. The first would be a pre login section. The second would be a post login section. So to start with the pre login section. These are all the features that I'm going to mention about are all features that you can actually use without uh, investing time on login into the app and actually take the most out of it. So the pre login section actually has four points that we cover. The first being the markets today, which actually give you a quick summary and a view of how and what is Nifty coating Sensex. And if there are any kind of FNO Nifty um, uh, coatings that are there, then we give you details on the same. The next would be NSC gainers or BSC gainers and losers. So we give you a quite uh, consolidated list of top 10 gainers and top 10 losers from BSC and NSC, giving you a quick summary of why and what is happening with Nifty and Sensex when they quote a particular figure. The, sec the third point would be a section which gives you a section called as recently viewed. Sometimes you're continuously tracking a stock. Say for example basis, Yes Bank has been really volatile recently. So if I as an investor I'm tracking Yes Bank, I don't have to again and again go and search for Yes Bank. The recently viewed section gives you a summary of all the stocks that you've actually looked up for on our mobile application. The fourth are all the needed important notifications that we actually send across to our customers. I'll take you one by one through these points. So to start with, we'll talk about the notification center. Uh, on the top left corner of your pre-login page, you will see a bell icon, which once clicked, the screen on your left actually opens. This gives you all the notification or all the important uh, details that we wish to share with our customers. This can include pick of, week, pick of the week, which is one stock that we give and we declare on every Monday on, on a fundamental basis. Uh, you can also get notification related to any other products that we are sharing and updating our customers about. The right side of the screen is actually a notification filter. Say for example basis, you as an investor do not like investing into a mutual fund and you want us not to uh, actually inform you anything that's going around with the mutual fund section. You can actually untick the mutual fund option and press on apply. Similarly, you can just look into all the different options that we've actually curated for you and you can choose which are the notifications that you wish to get and which you don't wish to get and accordingly our systems will help you with the same. The next is the research videos. You can actually reach out to these by clicking on the more option, which is on the bottom right of your screen. Once you click on the more option, you can scroll down through the whole menu and you will find an option called as videos. 
the video section is subdivided into three parts the first being research which gives you all kind of research related information and videos we have had our research heads giving you a complete detail of an example if i take of the wali pics that we declared for 2019 so if you want to see our head of research giving you a complete explanation as to why have we curated these particular stocks you can go and view the same under the research video section the next is the learning video section wherein basically if there's anything that's required for us to give you informations on like for example basis a lot of time uh, traders want to get an insight of how can they trade into derivatives we've had we've we've have about 5 to 10 videos where we give you a complete understanding of derivatives how can you actually understand the concept of futures and options and similarly it's not only derivatives that we teach you of but a lot of different basic things like mutual fund mutual fund and equity also the last section under the videos is the demo section a lot of times we uh, want to be tech savvy and we want to know as to how can i place an order how can i be as quick as possible to get uh, through the desired price i want to execute my order into so the demo videos will actually help you with a screen that will teach you how to place a particular order through our different product sections that we have so also along with uh, these few informations that i explained you about you can uh, go into the more option and you can locate all our branches if you have your location service on my system would actually help you for the nearest branch of hdfc securities around you so you can go commute and get your queries resolved you can also uh, you also have the option of contact us which gives you an option to directly email us or call our customer care on the numbers that are mentioned on the screen the third part of uh, the pre login is where you can actually come in write a feedback in case if you do not or you cannot actually get to the feedback section once you log out of the application my application gives you a pop up where you can go and drop down drop down your feedback and we'll help you in the best way that's possible so now moving into the post login section of the application okay starting with the login screen on the screen that you see is one screenshot of the login uh, window that we have wherein you will be required to fill in a few details so that you can enter the account that you're wishing to the first would be your username which is set by you the second is the password that you enter the third is the date of birth now over time we've actually realized that you know investors and traders want to get their trades executed on a desired price and we understand that um, getting through this whole process can be a little time consuming so which is why we introduced this very great concept called the m pin now what is the m pin and how can you actually set it i'll take you further with the with the same so the m pin is actually a four digit um, number which actually replaces your password and your date of birth so what actually happens is when you set this four digit number from the set m pin arrow that you see which comes below your login okay if you've already set an m pin you wouldn't get this option but if in case you never set an m pin on our system you should get this option now so you can click on the same once you click on the same you'll be uh, taken through the process where you set your m pin the m pin has to be a four digit number okay can be a number that works as a security in place of the password and date of birth as i mentioned the first screen you set your m pin the second you actually confirm the same and there you are you you just like you know the next screen takes you to setting up your otp to just get the authentication that it's the user that we are wanting to set the m pin is doing the same so your mobile application will actually help you with a otp on your mobile number and also your email id uh, increasing the level of authentication while you're setting your m pin once you do the same your m pin is all set and the screen just takes you back to the login page where you're asked to only fill in your username and your m pin you can see the same on the right side screenshot that we've attached on the presentation now taking forward to once you log in how would your home page look what is it that we provide you as an information the first section as we all as i already explained is pretty similar to the pre login section wherein we give you an insights into market with what and how is nifty and sensex doing today when you're logging in the section just below that gives you a quick summary of your investments that you've done with us wherein there's a section which is called my valuation and the second is the unrealized profit and loss that you're holding on to your investments so these are the two things that we actually give you into the top sections followed by you will also see we giving you an fno uh, quote of nifty uh, letting you know what is nifty quoting into the futures segment now once the home page which is covered into the pre login and the post login comes the more detailed features of the application so once you click on the more option which is on the bottom right of the of the screen that you have on your mobile you will be actually redirected to the screen that you see on the left these two screenshots are the screenshots that you will see of the scroll down menu in front of you 
there are different different um, sections under this more option which include market trading portfolio small cases mutual funds ipo we also let you go through a process if in case you have any kind of referrals around and you want to help us uh, reach out them quickly there's an option called as open account and also assisted open account so both of these actually help you let us uh, reach out to the right person if you if if we want to convert them as customers and help them get on the platform so i'll just explain every section briefly as to what all can you see in each section once you click on them starting with the most important is the portfolio section you also can see the same on the panel which is below on the screen you see about five options namely home watch list portfolio trade and more so portfolio has a shortcut also you can click on the third button from the left which is the portfolio button and you'll be redirected to your portfolio so now once you reach your portfolio what is it that we actually give you as details so once you're on your portfolio we give you an asset wise um, segregation where depending on equity or mutual fund that you've invested with us we give you details of both so depending on whatever you wish to actually have a view on say for example as i taken yes bank as one of my examples and i'll continue taking the same being a favorite stock of mine so uh, talking about yes bank say for example basis you want to see that if you've invested an x amount into yes bank how is it doing the screen on the right gives you a complete summary of your investment into yes bank it tells you what is the current market price of the stock it tells you what is your average cost price which is your buying price also and at the same time what is the amount of money that you've invested in what is the unrealized and realized profit that you are having on that stock the next part which comes under the portfolio section is the profit and loss report one of the most important things uh, knowing and keeping in mind that the year end is around the corner the mobile application also gives you an insight of the profit and loss into each stock let be any asset let be equity or mutual fund we give you a summary of both letting you know what is the uh, lump sum profit or loss or what is your consolidated lo loss or profit for this financial year the screens on the left and right give you a complete uh, brief of what is profit and loss which is the screen left and how can you actually generate a capital gain statement is the screen on right summarizing all the important information that you would want to know in less than two clicks as i mentioned the best part about the mobile application is you get to everywhere in less than three clicks so the next segment under the portfolio is the dmat balance section so also uh, knowing this fact that you know sometimes there are uh, investors who actually get their investments shifted from some other broker to their new brokers and they want to know how and what is their dmat balance at this particular moment so to just get a summary of a complete investment that they've done with us at hdfc securities we actually let you take a quick view into your dmat also to get a complete consolidated view of how and what is your dmat standing at this point how do you do the same you go to the uh, more option which is on the bottom right of your screen you go to the portfolio option and you go to the third option which is dmat balance and you will get the screen on your left summarizing all the details of the investments that you've done with us now moving to the next um, segment of the mobile application which is called research we as investors and traders always require some constant research backup and will always require some research backup so the research segment actually gives you an insight into three uh, different research sections the first is the equity second is derivatives and third is mutual fund so we are actually covering all the asset classes that are important for an investor as well as for a trader so starting with what and all each uh, segment does or have starting with the equity section you will see the pick of the week which is one stock that we declare every Monday on fundamental basis. You will see fundamental, uh, fundamental picks for our investors. You will see some technical picks for our traders. You will see trading and some mobile picks specially curated for you. The next is the derivative section. We get an insight into futures as well as options. And the fourth is, uh, the third is the mutual fund section where you get an insight into lump sum uh, mutual funds and SIP mutual funds. So depending on what and how is your investment pattern and style and you wish to invest with us, we give you both research options for lump sum as well as SIP. So taking you through the equity section of the research, okay, as I mentioned that there are about five different uh, sections, it's five different types of picks that we give you in equity. The first being the pick of the week, which is the uh, first screen on the left that you see on the screenshot, which would be this one. 
which gives you uh, the summary of all the pick of the weeks that we've given and we've uh, released till today. Uh, just to get a disclaimer basis, we only uh, launch out all the open calls that are there. If in case you've invested into a particular pick of the week and the pick has actually achieved its target, you will be notified for the same in this section only. Post which, once the pick is closed, you wouldn't be able to see the same. You'll only see open picks in it. The next is fundamental which gives you all the long-term basis picks and a summary of all long-term investments that you can do, which uh, gives you information of what company to buy, what price to enter at, what is the target that we are expecting, the time horizon for the call that we've released, and what would be the potential upside of things with the way we've uh, speculated them to go. This information of uh, this stock information, depending on the price, time horizon, the uh, uh, the possible outcome or the potential upside that you would get will be mentioned all on your screen for all these picks that I'm going to talk about. The next is the trading pick and the technical pick, which can be for a uh, shorter time span, say maybe an intraday call or maybe a buy today, sell tomorrow call. So these two sections will have a summary of these two. And the last and the fifth section is called the hot picks or the mobile picks section, which keeps changing on a constant basis. So at this time, if you see, you would see the Diwali picks being our hot picks or the mobile picks into our mobile application at this point. So this section actually keeps you updated with anything that's um, going on a timely basis. If there is something that we've come, in, come out for a festive like Diwali, we've come out for a Diwali picks, uh, a lot of Diwali picks. So this section will actually give you these specialized uh, research recommendations that we've curated for you. So now once you actually click on a particular uh, call that we've actually given out, let be any of the five that I explained, this screen that's appearing in front of you would give you a much more detailed summary of that stock. If in case that's required, as I mentioned firstly, uh, before I move on to the report section, it also gives you a very important uh, uh, information, which is called the call date, which actually is the date that the call has been uh, announced at. So say for example basis, the example that's on your screen, the call date for the same is 16th April 2018. So you know this call is a call that if you're viewing the same in the month of November, it's always uh, recommended to reconfirm with your relationship managers or your branch representatives that you're in touch with if this call is particularly still um, open or it's closed. If in case you require much more detailed explanation as to why have we uh, basically selected this particular company in the whole industry, the report section gives you an opportunity to download a PDF, which gives you a complete detail about that particular stock and why and how do we think it will reach the potential upside we are quoting. Also, the best part about this screen is if you like what we've recommended to you on the left side, you see a green button, which is a buy button. You can simply click on that. The application will redirect you to the trade section where you can place your order right there and there. So we've actually reduced your time to go back to the trade section and place an order. The next is the next button is going to be a get code button to give you a quick live update of what the price of the stock at this point is. The derivative section has two subsections into it, namely futures and options. The screen on the left gives you a summary of futures, while the screen on the right gives you a summary of options. Okay, so as you see that uh, on the uh, on the screen again, we have some important details that are mentioned, which include the series that we are asking you to invest into, the month series that we are asking to invest into, the potential upside, the target, the reco price, and the time horizon for the same. The same is also explained for your option strategy. We do give you all the important details that you require to enter and uh, make the most out of this call. Moving forward to the uh, third asset class, which is mutual funds. Um, so the mutual fund section actually has two ways to go about it, two subsections for of investment. The first being lump sum, the second being SIP, which is systematic investment plan. Now, depending on how as an investor you are and how have you planned your uh, financial uh, goal planning and your investment, you can actually choose if you want to invest into the mutual fund in a lump sum way, which is you actually put a corpus all at once or the SIP format where you go in a monthly basis or a quarterly basis payout. So how does this work is we actually have four sections that we've divided all our mutual funds into and we actually ask you what are you looking for so that we come to know what your goal planning is. We get a little bit insight of what your goal planning is so that we can accordingly recommend you the best fund depending on that. So on the left side of the screen gives you four of these options, which is high risk, high returns. If you're that investor is looking for high risk, high returns, or if you're looking for a tax saving scheme or the other two options, depending on whatever that you wishing to look, you can actually press on that option and the screen will take you further, which is the screen on the right, 
to a page which we which where we give you all the recommendation taking an example of the lump sum being the first one if you click on any of these four options depending on your investment style say for example basis i am an investor who wants low risk low returns i can click on that option and the screen on the right shall open giving me a uh, complete uh, summary of what and what kind of recommendations of funds do we have now while we're doing the same what happens is we give you the updated nav of that fund we give you the three year return to get an estimate that you know depending on how and what is your goal planning if you're looking for a, a three year term your return would be an x percentage or if you're looking for a higher horizon we give, also give you an option of a five year return along with this we give you a sub category of the mutual fund to understand that what is the mutual fund uh, type that you're entering into the example that we've taken you see equity arbitrage as one of the options or the sub category that kotak equity uh, arbitrage fund growth falls into moving into the second type which is the sip which is systematic investment plan the left side screen still remain, remains all the same okay the right side screen changes a little bit because the button below says create sip okay the button before said invest lump sum this says create sip otherwise the way you go about uh, looking or skimming through all the research that we've uh, provided to you remains just the same. The option to choose lump sum and SIP is at the top of your screen. Now, while actually um, you're going to uh, search for a particular stock, there's something called as a get quote, which is a magnifying glass symbol on the top right of your screen. Okay, as soon as you click on it, you can actually search for a particular stock. For example, basis is taken HDFC bank, which appears on your screen at this point. So once you click on that button or that option, you can actually type whichever stock you're looking for and then move on to the next screen that is popping on your uh, screens right now. So the screen one, once you search for a particular company, gives you a complete brief of that stock. It tells you what is the price at NSC or BSC, depending on whichever exchange you select. We also give you uh, an option to add the stock to your watch list. So if in case when you're going through a stock and you've been uh, wanting to invest into a stock, you can quickly add it to your uh, watch list and then continuously track it without uh, looking for it always. Along with that, we give you an overview where there's a graph section giving you a complete brief of how and what is the stock moment, what is the volume, the open price, the previous close, the intraday, high, low, etc. all the information that's required. Along with this, again, making it very convenient for all our investors, we give you the option to buy, sell, and do an SIP into the stock that you're looking for. If you find the stock interesting, do not waste any time and enter the stock at the desired price by clicking, clicking the buy button here. In case you already hold the stock, and if you think that your desired target is achieved, we give you the option to sell it right there and there. The second section is the futures and options section, which actually gives you uh, an insight into what and how um, is the stock doing into the derivatives section. As you can see on the screen, once you click on the FNO option, we give you two sub options to choose from futures and options. Depending on which kind of a trader you are and which segment you wish to trade into, you can get respective information for the same for month expiries that are mentioned on your screen. The next is a section called the market depth. The market depth is actually a summary of what and how is going, what's happening with the stock on that particular day. What is it that the price, a particular price, what is the volume on that particular price so that you get a complete insight that what is the exact or the desired price you should enter the stock at. As you can see on the screen, you see that HDFC bank at 2214 has the highest volume of 975 quantity. Similarly, on a much more active stock or a much more uh, traded stock on a particular day, you will see different price levels having different volumes to, for you to understand that if at this particular point is everybody around you as an investor or trader buying or selling or what is it that's happening with the stock so that you can actually take your decision. It's, it's a feature that actually enables you to get in much more insight into that particular stock. The third, the fourth and the most interesting segment that uh, is there is called the news section. This news section is not a generalized news section where we uh, give you links for multiple different news that uh, that's happening around or whatever is happening around. We actually have curated this section for the news related to HDFC Bank. 
So if in case you're buying or you're selling a particular stock and you want to get a quick summary of what's happening with that stock, if in case you haven't uh, followed the news for that stock, then this news section gives you all the important links from various different websites that we feel are um, authenticate, uh, authenticated enough for our investors to read. We provide you the link so that you can quickly go view those sections and get a summary of the same. Now there's something called as my watch list. This can be curated by yourself. It's it's the second button on the top uh, on the bottom panel that's present to you. The second button from the left is the watch list. Here you can actually keep uh, adding stocks that you wish to track on a daily basis. Let them be stocks that you've invested into or you wish to invest into. Now how and what uh, and how do you create a watch list? As soon as you are on that uh, section of the watch list, okay, you can go and actually search for that stock. You can add it to your watch list. As soon as you add it to your watch list, as I, I explained you with HDFC Bank, the same appears on your watch list as on your screen. As soon as you click on that stock, you have the option to buy, sell, to get some uh, details on the market depth and also get a live price of the same if you wish to get the same. Now, if in case you want to create a new watch list, okay, if a lot of time investors want to create watch lists based on industries, based on their different uh, financial goals that they have planned. So there are options that you can actually create various different watch lists. Now, how does that happen? Is that once you're on the watch list section, on the top right uh, of your screen, you will see add, uh, you will see an option to actually uh, click on a drop down, okay, which will open an option for you to create a new watch list or manage your, your present watch list. Now you're creating a new watch list option actually lets you create a new watch list depending as I explained previously and your managed watch list can uh, option gives you an option into uh, managing the current watch list that you have. So say for uh, example basis you've added 10 stocks into your particular watch list and you feel that now five are stocks that you're not following. You can come to the managed watch list, watch list section and actually delete these particular stocks or delete the watch list completely by itself. Now getting to the most important part uh, that we all are awaiting as to how can I place uh, a particular order into my equity section. So uh, from the down panel again that you have, okay, you can go to more. You can, as soon as you press on more, you can go to the option called trading and then you have the option to buy or sell the particular thing particular stock now if in case um, uh, you do not have if you do not want to run through this long process one of the five panels below as you can see on the screen again on the right side okay the fourth option from the left is the option trade as soon as you press on that the the screen on the leftmost now opens in front of you but in the first thing that you have to do is search for the particular stock you want to place an order for so for example basis if you want to, if you want to place an order into hdfc bank you can uh, press on the get code option. You can type HDFC bank, select the equity um, sub option, and then the screen which is in the center will appear in front of you. Now, while uh, the screen appears, it's upon you if you want to buy or sell that particular stock that you've searched for. You can choose the exchange, let be NSC or BSC. You can uh, choose what product type do you want to go through. So once you click on the uh, product drop down, the rightmost screen will open in front of you, wherein we give you options of cash, intraday, margin, cover, e margin. You also have options like GDDT, part of this, if you uh, look into the BSE section. So depending on whatever kind of a transaction that you wish to do, you can choose your product type. You can choose if you want to place the order into market price or limit price. Say for example, if you press limit, you would have to manually type the price you want to enter or exit the stock. If you press market, the system will automatically generate the order at the current market price. So moving further, uh, the screen in the center actually has the bottommost option which says additional details. Once you press on that, uh, the screen on the left now will open in front of you. Wherein if you want, you can write or mention a disclosed quantity and a, a trigger price if in case you're placing a cover order, you'll have to use and utilize this section. If not, you can choose the validity of your order when you have three options to do the same, namely SES, which is session, IOC and GTDT. GDDT just give you a quick brief brief is an order type which lets you place an order which will be valid for about one month's time. So it's for basically investors who do not get the time to look into or track stocks on a constant basis can come in here place a buy or a sell order under GTDT section and that particular order will be live for one month's time. So in that one month's time if the desired price that you've quoted is triggered the order will automatically get executed without you being in front of the system. 
moving forward there is uh, obviously a view into the order book that we all want to uh, get once we say place a limit order and we want to have a quick view into it so you can go to the more option you can go under the trading option and you will see order book as one of the options there so while you are on the order book the screen on the left actually appears in front of you when you can choose what exchange are you looking for your orders to if you place an order into nse you can choose nse as your section you can choose whatever segment let be equity or derivatives you can uh, choose the instrument type you can choose what kind of a product are you looking for so let be cash cover gtdt etc and then the session if it's an in market order that you place or, or an off market order that you place so, um, off market orders are orders that you actually place after 330 this system does accept um, orders at these particular times so if it's an off market order you can also view the same moving forward is the trade book now what's the difference between an order book and a trade book an order book gives a summary a consolidated summary of all the um, um, orders or all the transactions that are still to be executed while the trade books give, gives you a summary of all the transactions that have already got executed now for example basis if you've placed a limit order into hdfc bank the same will appear under the order book section while the order is executed the same will appear into the trade book section so the trade book can be reached out in the same way go to the more option go under trade and you will see the option of trade book under there now you also have one more option uh, which is called the open position this for all the uh, traders that we, uh, we have as viewers today you also can get a quick view into your open position let be an intraday a uh, e margin or a derivative position that you have so again you select the exchange that you wish to get your order uh, status on you select the segment let be equity or derivative you select the instrument the product and the duration that you want to have and then you can press on the search option and you can get a complete view of your open positions that are there now as i already explained you what gtdt is gtdt also has its own specialized order book because it functions in a very different way compared to all the other orders that go across in products so gtdt has its own order book which can be reached in a similar manner i have been mentioning to reach your order and your trade book and gtdt order book will only give you a summary of any kind of orders that you've placed under the product type of gtdt moving forward to this other section which is called the DIY SIP which is do it yourself systematic investment plan now the DIY SIP to give you a quick summary of the product let's you do an SIP into a particular stock now sometimes when we talk about a very fundamentally strong stock like say hdfc bank or alliance industries or tcs okay a lot of time investors want to keep investing say an x amount or an x quantity on a monthly basis sometimes what happens is if this is this process is a manual process we tend to forget the same so diy sip actually enables or creates a way for this these investors to make it much more easier and seamless for you to place an order at one time choose the amount or quantity that you're wishing to invest and how do you want to invest let be monthly let be quarterly let be half yearly or yearly basis the system gives you an option to do the same so let's let's quickly run through the process of how can you create a diy sip basket of yours so once you're on the diy sip option which you can reach from more trading under that you will see an option of diy sip so there you can actually go and click on that which says create your own stock sip click on that the screen on the right shall appear in front of you so talking about how uh, your sip has to be there are two options you can set an amount sip or you can set a quantity sip for that matter now an amount sip can be a figure of rupees that you mentioned that okay on a monthly basis i want a 10000 rupees transaction okay which can restrict the number of quantities that we purchase okay so just say example basis if you're creating an sip of 10000 into a stock which is for 2000 rupees and may pick up five quantities today but if the stock increases to price say in the next month when your sip is uh, about to get triggered and the stock price become 2500 the um, system will only pick up about four quantities now and not five because your amount is set at 10000 the second option is the quantity basis where you choose what is the quantity that you are wishing to invest into regardless of the price of the stock you can choose the frequency that be monthly quarterly half yearly etc you can choose the period of your diy sip the minimum period that you can set is 24 months that does not mean that if your goal target or your goal planning uh, is letting you set an sip of 12 months you cannot use diy sip you always have the option to trigger a diy sip for 24 months but as soon as your 12 months get over you have the option to reconsider to continue the same or you can stop or cancel your diy sip right there and the best part is you can start you can choose a start date for your investment 
uh, that can be based on the salary cycles that you have or again your financial goal plans so while you're creating your diy sip what do you do is you actually select uh, select an exchange of bsc or nse the next is you select the symbol which is the stock that you wish to actually uh, sorry the company name which is the stock that you wish to invest into okay let that be any kind of stock that you're wishing to get into and if you chose amount as your diy sip type of investment then you will have to set an amount or if it's the quantity you'll be asked to set the quantity for the same the screen now that's appearing in front of you on the right gives you a complete consolidated summary as to how should your screen look if you've placed an order into uh, TCS, SIB type being amount, okay, um, your months being 24, your frequency being monthly and your start date being 17th April. So once you do this, you also have the option to actually name your DIY SIP basket. You can name it whatever that you wish to as per your complete choice. And once you uh, create your SIP, the screen will say an SIP basket is created. The best part is you can create as many baskets as you want. You can choose different uh, start dates for the same and you can have different frequencies for the same. So maybe you can have an industry based DIY SIP basket or maybe you can have a fundamentally based DIY SIP or a technically or a uh, trading based DIY SIP. When I say trading, I mean a short term horizon um, based DIY SIP. So depending on how and what you want to uh, invest and how you want to go about it, you can create multiple DIY SIP baskets for the same. Now an SIP request book is a, uh, is a special curated SIP book for DIY SIPs. So here it gives you a complete uh, summary of how and what are your orders that are going under your SIP, uh, that, your DIY SIP that you do with us. Moving to the next uh, asset class being mutual funds. Uh, mutual funds, again, you can go to the more option on the bottom right and you can scroll down to the mutual fund option. Once you click on the mutual fund option, you will see a drop down menu like on the left of your screen when you can have different options to create an SIP to purchase or redeem your SIP to have a uh, look into your order book lump sum, your SIP order book and a lot of different other things. So talking about how uh, can you make a um, uh, mutual fund lump sum investments in quick two steps. So how do you actually do that is uh, you can click on the um, purchase option, which is the second option here on the screen. Uh, the screen which is on your left will appear. You can choose quickly, which is the fund that you're wanting to do your lump sum investment into. Uh, as soon as you search that with our get code option, it'll give you the live NAV for this same. You can choose the action we're purchasing at this point. So we can choose purchase. You can choose NSC or BSC depending on uh, which exchange is the fund available on. And you can set an amount that you want to wish to that you wish to invest as lump sum. That'd be 50,000, 1 lakh XYZ amount that you wish to invest. Now, once you fill in all these details, you can confirm the order that you're placing further. As soon as you do so, once you review the order, press on the confirm order and the screen on the right shall appear in front of you. Similarly, you have uh, like you have an equity watch list. You also have an NAV watch list, which can give you a complete brief of uh, insights into different mutual funds that we are offering uh, onto our platform and to get a quick view of what their NAVs are quoting. We also have one more subsection under mutual fund, which is the NFO watch list, which gives you a summary of any kind of new offerings that are out in the market in form of mutual fund. It'll only give you a summary of all the new offerings that are um, in the market. Similarly, just like an equity order book, you have a different MF order book. This one on the screen that you see is a lump sum order book on the screen. As I mentioned at the start, that we're giving a quick uh, overview on the lump sum. So on the left is a lump sum uh, order book. Now let's quickly move on to how can you create an SIP. Once you click on more, once you go to mutual funds and you click on the create SIP option, the screen on your left shall appear in front of you. When you fill in the basic details, including the exchange, the AMC that you want to place an order through, um, the fund type or category, not very uh, compulsory, but the fund type and category. But the most important thing is getting the scheme name right. So you can actually choose whichever uh, after you choose the AMC, you can choose or uh, type the scheme name that you're wishing to invest. Once you do that, you can press on submit. The screen on the right shall appear wherein you can make a few changes depending on the amount that you're wishing to invest, the frequency being monthly, quarterly and the start date and the period for the SIP that you want. So you can set a tenor of say X years or X months that you want this SIP to go further. Once you fill in all these information, the screen 
uh, on in front of you shall appear when you can review all your orders agree all our terms and conditions on the box by clicking on the box on the bottom and you can uh, press on the submit button as soon as you do that your sip is on and you've invested into a mutual fund in the sip manner similarly like in lump sum uh, order book you also have a mutual fund sip order book which gives you only summary of any kind of sip transactions that you've done uh, and will be doing further moving further to our next section which is the ipo section now as i said this is one of our uh, key highlights or the usp features of the mobile application where you can quickly invest into a mutual fund less than three clicks so let's see how can you do that if you click you have to obviously log in click on more go under the ipo section as soon as go under the ipo section you will have the screen on your left appearing now here you have two options to quickly invest into ipos now if you want to uh, invest for invest into an ipo by only one lot of the ipo we have an option which says quick apply with the blue button once you click on that it will show the screen on the right okay you can see and quickly review all the required information on the screen once you do that you have to click on the confirm button on the top uh, on the bottom right uh, of your screen and you've placed the ipo order so as i said you can actually place an ipo order in three clicks you have to go to the ipo section do a quick apply and confirm your order and you're through the ipo um, one lot order that you're wishing to place now say for example basis you're an investor who's wishing to purchase multiple lots into that um, uh, ipo that's come out then you can use the green button on the screen and which says apply and you can apply for multiple lots that are there so once you click on the apply button the screen on the right shall appear you can fill in the details that are required and you can proceed further and place your ipo order so you also have a different ipo order book where you can go and see if the ipo order that you've put across has gone successfully and we've captured it if yes we've captured it the order book shall show you an entry of the same now there's also a section under the ipo option which says fund hold and release it's very important that uh, like you know as investors or traders we know how to hold funds or release funds so the steps to do so is you have to press on more go on the option which reads accounts and there'll be an option will say fund hold and release once you press on the same the left side screen shall appear in front of you wherein you can quickly confirm the bank name the account number you can create a net hold of xyz amount and you can uh, you can authenticate the transaction right there and there now moving further you uh, we already spoke about one feature which is uh, fund hold and release under the account section i'll also give you a quick view of some more important features under the accounts option so there's something called a security hold and release uh, these this section is usually used by customers who are wishing to do a las which is loan against securities so the whole process requires you to create a hold of your securities that you've invested into so this is how you do it you go to the more option you go into the accounts and you click on the security hold and release option the screen on the left shall appear you can quickly just reconfirm all the information that's mentioned you can search for the symbol that you're creating or wishing to create a hold on and then you can press on the hold option which is the left side button and that's it it's that simple now moving further there are a few two more products that we have given you an um, insights into through a mobile application one being small cases which all of us are very well aware of now that you can invest into small cases but now you can also invest into small cases using a mobile application you can go into the more options you will see small case as one of the sub options in the scroll menu click on it you'll be redirected to the small case uh, web page of hdfc securities you can log in and you can skim through our web page of small cases similar process for insurances it's part of the scroll button scroll options once you press on more moving on to the uh, one of the last few features of the mobile application which is news news uh, this news section is a consolidated news section wherein you get an insights into all and everything that's to do with news that's going around with the stock market here we have three sub uh, sections under news one is called news itself which gives you um, an overview into all kinds of news related to the stock market or the economy the next is news based on research this gives you uh, all all and any kind of overview of market view points fnu fno overview uh, equity and derivative uh, der derivative commentary and a market wrap up so this section actually gives you a news on to what's happening with stocks and the stock market as a whole 
and the last section is the call section where we basically keep updating you uh, on as to what is happening on the calls we released so let be fundamental technical derivative calls we let you know if you have to book a profit or exit that particular call under the news call section so the same can obviously be uh, shared with your near and dears through different platforms that you see um, on the screen at this point. Any kind of news articles that you see or any kind of news that you read on the application can be shared through all these features. So as I said, there's also an option for uh, you to give us a feedback. And this comes up as soon as you log out from the HBFC Securities app, you get this option to actually review us on the Google Play Store or the iOS Play Store. And that's all about uh, all, all the viewers. Thank you so much. Uh, now we'll be open to uh, any kind of questions that our viewers have. So uh, as per based on the explanation that I just gave, uh, you can please give or you can you know, shoot all the questions towards us. We'll answer them. Okay, seeing none that uh, there are no questions that our viewers have at this point, assuming that the presentation has been pretty on point, uh, and that's all about it from my end. Uh, I hope this presentation was helpful. Thank you so much and have a great day ahead.